All right, in this particular one, we're asked to find the product, and product is multiplication. And so this is a trinomial because it's got three parts times a trinomial. And so we can, essentially it's dis, uh, distribution. We're going to be distributing this 5x squared to the negative 3x squared to the negative 6 and to the negative 2. The same thing with the 2x to the negative 3x squared to the negative 6 and to the negative 2. Then the negative 1 to each one of those three. And we keep going down the line, and, again, and it can get kind of confusing when you're trying to write it all out. There's another method that's called the box method, and that's what we're going to go through today. And this box method, I'm going to create a box, and the box, the dimensions of the box are going to be however many terms there are. In other words, this one has three terms, so it's going to be at least a three by something box. And this one has three terms, and this one has three terms. So this will be a three by three box, and it would look like this. All right, so three up and up and down, three side to side. Now, you can choose either one. This top one here can go right on top if you want. It can go down the side if you want. That really doesn't matter. I'm going to go ahead and write these three down the side. Okay, so we've got this one here. Now, if we look, this 5x squared here uh, relates to this 5x squared here. All right, now, if we... Uh, this 2x squared here relates to this 2x here. And the negative 1 relates down here to this negative 1. So those were all those numbers came. I just put one vertical. And the other one that we've got over here uh, is going to go horizontal. Okay, so we'll write that out now. And it's going to look like that. Now again, on this particular one, my negative 3x squared, I'm writing right here, uh, negative 6x. Negative 6x here relates down here to this negative 6x, and of course the negative 2 goes with the negative 2 down here. Okay, so that's where all those numbers are coming from. Now that we've got this all filled out, it's a multiplication box. And essentially what we're going to do is we're going to take and multiply each part here. So I've got a negative 3x squared times negative 5x squared. So that would give me negative 15x to the fourth, and I just fill in that box, okay? Each one of these go with each box, negative 3x squared times 2x would yield me negative 6x cubed. Negative 3x squared times negative 1 would give me a positive 3x squared. So we've got that whole first row done. Now we go on to the second row. Negative 6x times 5x squared would yield me negative 30x cubed. Negative 6x times 2x would be negative 12x. And we're kind of starting to pick up the pace just slightly here. 6x, negative 6x times negative 1 is 6x. And we're going to continue to fill in each one of these box as, boxes as we go down. We're just multiplying each one of them. Okay, so now that we have all of these filled in, now I look here, and these are all my components, and I look to see if there's anything here that I can combine, any like terms. Well, I notice that this one has an x cubed, and this one has an x cubed. So I'm going to go ahead and signify, and usually I do that with the doodle to signify that those two will go together when I combine them. I look and see if there's anything else. This is x to the fourth. There are no other x to the fourth power anywhere in here, so that one I don't. But I've got a couple x squares here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, write that one down to make it look like uh, that those can be combined. And finally, I have a uh, negative 4x and a positive 6x. I go ahead and write those. Now it's just a matter of combining all of these together. Uh, and so you'll want to combine your x cubes together, you want to combine your x squares together, and your x's. And then write it in standard form. That would be descending order according to their power, their exponent. So your answer would be negative 15x to the fourth, negative 36x cubed, minus 19x squared, plus 2x, plus 2. And that's just a combination of all of these. The big thing is drawing the box. Once you get the box done, then you're good. And this was a 3x3 three three box because we had 3 terms here and three terms here. If we had three here and two here, then this one would need to be three up and down and only two um, across this way, and then we could still fill it in.